This demo will show how to add a gateway to a business process definition diagram. We start by creating a brand new process app, for which we enter a name and acronym, and then we proceed to open it in Process Designer. Next we create a new business process definition, where we will add some steps to demonstrate the functionality of the gateway. But first we resize the system line to make some room. Then we add a human service task to the team lane, which will have a coach with an approve and reject button. Now we add three system activities. Note that these activities are set to be system tasks by default since they are being added to a system lane. The purpose of these system activities is to show the route that is taken after the gateway. Next we add the gateway, which becomes an exclusive gateway by default. Now we connect all the steps. Note the connection points that show up as little blue squares on the border of an activity as the end of the sequence flow arrow is dragged over it. This makes it easy to create necessary connections. For the next step, we click on the Variables tab and proceed to add a private boolean variable which will be used to hold the value that is then used by the condition inside the gateway. Then we move back to the Diagram tab. We click on the Gateway and click on the Implementation tab where we use the boolean variable that was added previously to send the execution towards the link to step A when the value of that variable is set to true. Now we click on the Decide Human Service. Click on the Implementation tab, click on the Select button, and we choose the simple Approval Human Service that comes as part of the Coaches Toolkit. Then we move to the data mapping tab where we set the output of the boolean variable that was added to the process. Now we're ready to test this process. For this we click on the playback button. As you can see the execution is stopped on the human service task. To run this task we click on the play button on the top right area of the screen. The human service user interface is display, displaying a web browser window. Here we have the option to click on the approve or reject button. We can also add a comment, but this doesn't get used in the process as it currently stands. As expected, steps A and C got executed, since by clicking on the prop button, the boolean variable in the process was set to true. Now we repeat the execution of the process, but this time we will click on the reject button in order to see steps B and C executed. For the next part of this video, we will change the process to use a different type of gateway. Currently, it is said to be an exclusive gateway, meaning that only one outgoing path is taken by the execution. We will change it to be a parallel gateway, where all outgoing paths are taken. We also need to add a second parallel gateway to join the execution flows. Otherwise, step C will be executed twice. Now we play back the process, and regardless of whether we click the approve or reject button, both steps A and B will be executed. 